I've been driving on my Bilstein shocks and struts for about 3 months now and I have to say it's hands down the best modification I've done to my car. If you have a naturally aspirated BMW like mine, you probably noticed that there aren't really a lot of engine modifications available so I figured that suspension would be the next best thing. My current suspension consists of Bilstein B8 performance shocks and struts paired with H&R Sport lowering springs. I wish I would have taken before and after measurements, but here's a close up of the fitment to give you an idea how it looks with my 19 inch VMR wheels. On my car, the front sits a little higher than the rear, but I've read that this is a characteristic of BMWs with X Drive all wheel drive. So like the title says, this is somewhat of an affordable setup, so with the shocks, the springs, and the struts, um, this whole setup is around $1,000, so um, the next step up from here would be a fully adjustable coilover, and then on the really expensive side, you would have air suspension, um, but as far as an affordable option, I think that these shocks and struts are a really great way to go. If you want to lower your car, but also maintain um, some level of performance as well, uh, you know, not just throw some lowering springs on there and just call it a day. The installation was pretty straightforward, although it is a little bit time consuming, so if it's your first time ever working on suspension and or you're working by yourself, plan for this to be an all day project, probably something that you'll want to do on a Saturday or Sunday. You'll just need some very basic tools like a metric socket set, jack and jack stands. You will need spring compressors for the front, so I picked up a set on Amazon for around $40. If your car is older and or higher mileage, you will most likely need to replace the upper and lower shock mounts for the rear. These are not included in the box, so be sure to order a set if you need them. My car only had 75,000 miles when I replaced them and the factory shock mounts were trash. I'll link my full installation video down below in case you want to follow along. So as far as driving impressions, what I really love about suspension upgrades is that um, you can enjoy the benefits every single time that you drive, you know, unlike some really high-end uh, engine performance upgrade where you really have to push the car to the limit to really experience that uh, benefit. With the shocks and struts and the lowered springs, it's something that you can feel the difference every single time that you're driving, whether you're on a back road like this or uh, just commuting back and forth to work, the ride is just so much better. Um, if I had to describe the ride in one word, it would be tight. Uh, I feel really connected with the road. It honestly feels like driving a brand new car. Um, that might sound funny, but honestly, uh, just driving down this road right now, it's hard to believe that this car was built in 2006. That's how good it drives. The suspension is firm, but it's not uncomfortable. It's not unbearable, you know, for a daily driver like this car. Um, I do like a little bit of comfort, but I also like the sportiness that these shocks and struts provide. All right guys, it was really crappy weather today, so I apologize in advance if uh, there was a bunch of rain noise in some of those driving shots. Uh, I just had to make it work. But anyway, um, if you're looking into uh, upgrading your shocks and struts, uh, Bilstein has a couple different options. Uh, the B6 uh, model is designed for cars with the stock ride height. So if you wanted to keep your stock springs, uh, maybe you want a performance shock and strut, but you want to maintain that stock ride height, uh, you don't want to compromise the ground clearance, the B6s are the ones to get. Um, but for me, since I have the lowering springs on my car, I have the H&R Sport springs. Um, I went with the Bilstein B8s, which are designed for cars with the lowered suspension. So uh, that's the ones that I got. All right, so as far as pricing these out, we have the Bilstein B8 front struts. Those are $240 each. And then you have the Bilstein B8 rear shocks. Those are $125 each. Um, if you want to replace your shock mounts, which I highly recommend for the rear, um, those are about $40 for the set. And then we have the H&R Sport lowering springs. Those are around $240. I think if you have around $1,000 to spend, giving your suspension a complete overhaul is one of the best bang for buck modifications and it's truly like breathing new life into your car. My only regret is that I didn't do it sooner. So if you're interested in upgrading your own suspension, I'll leave some links down below. I highly recommend getting the parts through FCP Euro because you get that lifetime replacement 
and uh, these suspension parts do eventually wear out over time. They're a wear and tear item, so it's cool to be able to have that lifetime guarantee so that when they do wear out, you can just go ahead and get them replaced. Um, also, I'm gonna link the installation video down below in case you wanna check that out. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, I uploaded that about three months ago uh, when I first installed them. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this information, you found it helpful, please just give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.